So this is kind of part two to the last video that we did. I was a little vague in the uh, kind of the end of that when talking about the Canvas quiz and adding questions. So I just wanted to add just kind of a an end conclusion piece to this now that I've I've added a few questions. So instead of clicking around during the video, you you can kind of see a final product now. Uh, but in that last video, what we were just kind of showing here was how to actually go into your questions. And what we did with this here is, remember, we grabbed the embed code from Edpuzzle when we clicked on Finish. And after we had uh, finished up with that and got the embed code, uh, we copied that. We went to the HTML editor. Remember, we clicked into that, pasted in that HTML code, went back to the rich content editor, and then we kind of get back to what we see as as normal to us on a daily basis so right underneath that though is where I added my question as I kinda mentioned before from the other video what angle should the hip knee and, and ankle be uh, if the acceleration a march is is done properly so I already put in my different answers so 90 degrees is is the correct angle there you know 45 55 95 I put my different answers in and simply click update question um, I can just continue to add new questions to this so um, you know whether I, if I want to um, put uh, you know, if I choose to put the video in multiple different spots, uh, I can do that. In this case, I just have it in one, so that way, after the student watches that and answers the question, they just simply can move on. And you know, granted, they will have to kind of scroll up and down a little bit, but uh, that's okay. The video will physically pause for them, telling them you have a question here, you know, to answer. So the next one I put down is why are these drills considered dynamic and not static? Uh, so. Um, I've added my, you know, several different answers there and updated my question. So once I'm done with that, I just can simply hit save. And then I want to show you what it looks like more so on the student side. So after this, um, this saves up here, uh, we're going to go in preview. And once we click on preview, again, we'll get a chance to see what our students see when they actually do take our quiz. As you see here in the preview, uh, we now have our video embedded here. We have our question and our answers, and again, the question and answers here. So what we'll do is if the student hits play, and just for sake of progressing to the actual question itself. So here is the actual uh, video. We reach our pause point, which telling the students, hey, you know, time to answer your question. Uh, I can't. I can't go on uh, unless I physically answer this. So what angle should the hip knee be? Okay, let's say I'm going to put a, a bad answer down. I've answered it. Did you answer the question below? Yes, I have. And I can submit and now continue. So as that's going, I can look down. Why are these drills considered dynamic and not static? So I can go through and watch my video and progress to where, uh, just for, for sake of time here, uh, we can watch where... Uh, we get to my next question. Did you answer the question below? And after watching that video, the students then can answer, well, let's see, these drills actually demand speed and power, so let's say that, and we're going to submit the quiz after I finish answering all my questions. So now what will happen here is for the students, they can receive that immediate feedback here if you choose to have the students see immediate feedback. If not, you can always hide those answers until you know all students have taken your quiz. Uh, but again, this is really more so discussed in the uh, professional development under quizzes, Canvas quizzes. Uh, but just to kind of give you an example on how you can take Edpuzzle and really have it be a tool that works for you. And it's not one more thing that you know we as teachers have to go to another site somewhere else where we have to find and pull grades that we can streamline it all really for the simplicity of, of us on the on the teacher side and a data management side but also for the students because it's nice and clean and uh, it's clear for them that you know they're just within canvas and they can do what they need to do there and then receive that immediate feedback because again this is what they're going to see here so ultimately helping them uh, in that reteaching moment